guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Robin Hood Hero of the People. It's a solo player game, it takes about maybe 20 to 30 minutes, and it's for ages, what does it say on here, 12 and up, which sounds about right. In the game Robin Hood Hero of the People, your objective is to free your merry men, men or recruit them all. You have to make sure you have all seven of them in play, and if you can do that, you win. It's a fairly simple game as to how it works. Basically, you be drawing cards and utilizing those cards in your tableau, freeing and or recruiting your married men, and then, of course, after you've done all your buying and stuff like that, you're going to deal with the story cards, and this is which uh, Prince John will take place. He'll do some st strange things that can... Uh, not really help you out. You don't want to make sure that your bounty gets too high, because if it does, Robin Hood will be captured and you'll lose. Or, if your entire story deck runs out before you've freed all of your merry men, you'll also lose. The only way you can safely save yourself is if you have all your men recruited, and you have to make sure your bounty is lower than 500, because otherwise the people are going to try and steal you and take you in and turn you in for money, because, you know, a hero is only as valuable as their bounty is, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look down below as to uh, what you're going to get in the game, and then we'll go ahead and show you how to play it. So here we have the game Robin Hood, Hero of the People, and as you can see, it comes with a big shortage of cards, along with this little bounty track and a token to indicate how much bounty the Robin Hood is going to start with. For instance, if you want to play an easy game, it's 100, medium, it's 2, and for hard or difficult, it is 3. I'm going to start with 100, though, just for easy mode purposes. You'll also get a deck of story cards. There'll be 1s and there'll be 2s. You'll shuffle the 1 deck and the 2 deck separately, and then place the 1 deck on top of the 2 deck to indicate how the story is going to go. It's always going to be random, but the harder ones are at the bottom. This loot deck is simply going to be shuffled, and then you're going to deal yourself three cards, and who is yourself? Well, you're playing as Robin Hood, obviously, so you'll be taking this card here and placing it in front of you as well. Over here is going to be your merry men. You're going to have Allendale, Maid Marion, Will Scarlet, the Munch, the Miller, Little John, and Friar Tuck. Uh, you're also going to get King Richard cards here that you can utilize throughout the game. There's either going to be a one, there's two one uses, and then there's one that lasts forever that lets you see the next story card. Very, very powerful. They all have a cost on them. Sheriff uh, Sherwood Forest is going to be these cards here. They're all the same, and there's six of them, and as you acquire these guys here, you're going to be able to utilize them to lower your bounty track, as well as make sure that certain guys can't be captured. Very, very useful cards. And that is pretty much what you get in the game. You get some rule book here, and you're going to get the box of the game, and that is how you're going to set up for a single-player game of this single-player game, Robin Hood, Hero of the People. All right, let's go down below, and I'll show you how to play. So here we have Robin Hood, Hero of the People, and I already set it up for one player. As you can see, it's got the 100 marker, it's got Robin Hood himself, and the three loot cards you start with. And the first phase of the game is you need to rob the rich. And how do you do that? Well, you're going to gather three loot cards. During this phase, you're then going to be able to play up to uh, three cards into your tableau from your hand based on whatever you want. And there's gold cards here that are useful, sword, archery, strength and then these influence cards here. Uh, you can play them however you want. I'll just simply go ahead and start by playing these three gold cards there. After you've done that, you're going to move on to the next phase. Now, a couple rules about this thing. You can have as many cards in your hand as you want, or sorry, you can have as many cards in the field as you want, but you're limited to five cards total in your hand. So you have to be playing cards. These cards in your hand are safe, but these cards on the field are going to be affected by story cards. I'll go ahead and play these cards up here, and this will be my hand on here. Okay, and then after that, you're going to move move on to the action phase. And in the rulebook, it actually tells you how it functions, robbing the rich, the action phase, and the story phase. The action phase, you can do quite a few things. The first thing you can choose to do is recruit these characters here. There's a cost to them. There's going to be gold, and sometimes there's going to be the strength or influence or archery cards. But what's interesting about Robin Hood specifically is he has certain abilities, and it's, these are skills. You can use them once for each of the different skills to recruit or rescue certain characters. And in this case, I can, if I want, maybe I'll recruit, uh, let's see who I want to use here. I could recruit this guy here. It says it costs two gold, so I'd have to discard two gold to the discard pile. And then two swords, but I have a discount of two swords. So then I can go ahead and flip this guy over, much the miller, and that's achieved one of my objectives in the game. He has specific skills of his own, as well as a special ability that he can draw an extra loot card during his turn. Of course, what you want this guy, you have to, at the beginning, switch these characters. So you can use all the different characters in the game, but you're limited to which ones you can use at what time, and they have to be face up. Okay, and then after you've done that, if you have nothing else you can do, but of course you could buy these sheriff, uh, the Sherwood Forest cards if you'd like, or spend two of these symbols here to move down your bounty track. If you have all of these guys at a certain point, you'll gather all six of these at the cost of two strength each, you will be able to lower your bounty by 200, and in addition, these guys can't be uh, kidnapped. 
and that affects you during the story phase. So anyway, we'll go into the next phase now, which is going to be the story phase, which means you flip over one of these cards here, and there's an effect. This one says that you lose all your archery cards, and this will only affect any cards that are in play for you. So for instance, we have one gold. This will not affect you specifically because there's no archery. Now, if you had actually played one of these cards here, you would discard these cards, and these are basically your, your currency in the game that you're going to need to keep. After the story phase is done, you move on to the next phase of the game, at the beginning of the turn, and you'll draw three more more loot cards into your hand and then you could play three more cards down let's go ahead and put uh two strength and a gold perhaps is that what i want to do um actually how about let's go with one strength and one sword okay and then i'm going to go ahead and uh, recruit somebody let's go ahead and recruit will scarlet there's two strength here and he has two strengths so it'll only and this is going to cost three strength and three gold oh i can't i need three gold i only have two uh this guy i have my my robin hood's ability and i have two gold so i can spend these guys here to recruit alan of dale and uh, i can now have them and, and that's the game's gonna keep going like that you can keep purchasing as much as you have to uh, purchase but only from here and then more story cards are going to come out lose all your strength cards so this card is going to go away i was injured in battle now of course there's these king richard cards and that's the cost of the full uh, card here but they do have different effects this one here says the gold is worth double but you can only use it once for a turn so if you spend three gold you can spin it a six instead players can see the next story card which is kept in play so you'll have a card like this basically as long as this is in play and you'll see what next is coming out and then you'll play it during the story card phase pretty useful in fact and then the other one single use is the lowering the bounty by 200 gold which is also a use once uh, there's different story cards in the game uh, for, for instance let's look at a couple of them this is spreads lies and rumors you lose all your influence in play uh, that one is bribe for one gold or beat for one strength and a sword or increase the bounty by a hundred. Okay, so if you are faced with a king's guard, that's something you'll have to deal with. Tax increase, lose all your gold cards. Uh, feed the poor for two gold or increase your bounty by a hundred. So these cards are going to increase your bounty. Now, if this gets to a thousand, you're going to be captured and that's no good. Or if the last card in the story deck is flipped over then this is going to end the game as well uh there's also certain cards like this one says alan of dale is going to be jailed and if you don't have all these shared forest cards here then poor alan of dale is going to be flipped over and then he's going to need to be rescued so you have to it'll start like this flip it over and then you know, if he gets captured flip it like that now you have to pay the rescue cost and that's basically how it works. If you can get all these guys rescued, then you're going to successfully beat the game Robin Hood, Hero of the People. And if this deck runs out or this hits here, you're going to lose. Now, additionally, though, apart from rescuing these guys, you have to have less than 500 bounty in order for you to achieve victory. So even if you have these guys out, you have to move that tracker down. And remember, to do that, you're going to need to discard two of these influence cards. And you can only do that once a turn. There's also cards in here that will allow you to do it as well. But for the most part that's how you play the game all right let's come up and talk about it so what do I think about Robin Hood, Hero of the People? Well, first of all, this game is a solo player game, and I don't generally play a lot of solo player games unless they're rather quick. And this one is, so I don't mind playing games like this as far as that goes. Uh, it feels like a solitaire style game in which you're going to be drawing cards from the loot deck, playing them down to then be able to utilize them later. And if you do not utilize them, they can go from story cards, rescuing the people, and obtaining them and changing your character is great. The fact that the story brings different things throughout the entire game game uh, is nice as well and they have the two different separate sets of them the, the ones and then the twos here and the twos are definitely a little more challenging than the, th than the ones are more likely to get jailed and whatnot and characters are gonna have to come back you have to retake your characters which can get kind of frustrating but it's also on you because you can always get these Sherwood Forest cards here and they're only costing two but eventually you'll be getting them all and when you do that your characters won't get stolen anymore which is very very nice and lowering your tracker down at the cost of not freeing the people faster so you can try and go about it one way or the other way either way it's going to potentially work for you but it's also extremely challenging so if you like solitaire games that are very challenging this one feels like that it reminds me kind of the game Magda but with a little bit less chance and a little bit more strategy involved in it the robin hood theme is great the artwork is solid the fact that you can choose to uh, gather the king richard cards is nice as well they give you specific abilities that will help you throughout the game if you choose to utilize them and the fact that you have multiple routes to achieve victory is great as well a couple little things and they mainly
mainly involved with the rules. The first thing is understand that you can move the characters back and forth. The rules don't specify how that all works. I had to actually figure that out by uh, um, take, by, by uh, sending emails, basically, and make sure that works. So I want to make sure that the rules do explain things a little better. Additionally, it says the setup to draw three cards, and then it says begin the game by drawing three cards. So do I get six cards, or do I only get the three? I'm thinking I get the six, but I want to make sure. Uh, otherwise, for the most part, it all makes sense pretty fairly straight, straightforward and simple. It should explain as well how skills work and how you can only use them. Can you only use them all for just one single card? Can you split them apart? That kind of stuff is going to be very, very beneficial for players, especially who haven't played it before. Definitely check out getting uh, making sure you get somebody who's going to edit the rules who hasn't played it previously and is fresh on it. It's always a good... Uh, option for games that are, are are brand new, right? But anyway, that, that was my critique on the game. Otherwise, I really enjoyed this game. It's a fun little solitaire style game. It's a game I probably won't be bringing out all that much because I'm not a huge solitaire style player game, uh, game player, but there was a lot of people I know who would really, really dig this style game, especially if you like this kind of game. It's great to be playing on the train or in the plane or any of those kind of things as well because it's not going to take up a huge amount of space. All you need is that little grid in your hand. You could probably play it on a little tray if you really wanted to. And there's a quite a lot of difficulty in uh, in the game as it is without even moving the tracker to normal or to hard difficulty which you can do as well which is pretty cool and the fact that it's got replayability just from the fact that you can choose to win in different ways based on how you want to play the game which is nice in a solitaire game in general sometimes i just feel like you're kind of going through the motions do i have the, the cards i need or do i not this one gives you a ton of choice so definitely take a look at robin hood hero of the people a solid little single player game in fact i think it's got a game crafter award which is pretty sweet as well the co a content finalist well done and well deserved as well robin hood here are the people down below if you're interested. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board or card game review. If you're interested in taking a look at this game, go ahead and down below in the description, you can go ahead and pick up the game Robin Hood Hero of the People. I think on Game Crafter, they might be doing a Kickstarter as well. It'll be down below in the link, so you can go ahead and take a look at it. As well as taking a look at my website, unfilteredgamer.com. A couple more days left for the game Dogs, giving away that. We have a couple more coming out as well as, of course, our live streams every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. PST. Join our Facebook page and check it out. We do a ton of giveaways and news. We play board games on there. Just get the community interested and invested. That's always fun. These games, games like this, will get played on there. So you get to see what they're like and whether or not you, you know, what's your opinion on the game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, do go ahead and take a look at my buddies, everythingboardgames.com and show me how to win. Two great channels. One of them being for how do you win certain games as well as their new seasons coming out. And the other one being a huge giveaway channel that has a lot of blog posts. All right, guys, that's it. And as always, I look forward to rescuing all of my merry men with you. Huh? Prepare for the slow-mo.